250 games for Cameron Brannigan. You would have known all about Cameron before you came into the job. Better player than you thought, just what you expected? I knew Cam's level to be fair, but prior to coming in obviously he's been one of the best midfielders in the division for a considerable amount of time, so it's a, it's a fantastic achievement. It speaks volumes and around him, his loyalty to be fair. Um, and he's, yeah, I just love working with him, he's terrific to be fair. He, whatever you play him at, whatever he's doing, he just wants to win. And again, I think he, he, he's huge for the team from that perspective and that he'll take responsibility in the highest pressured moments, which he's shown over the years at the club and you know, long may it continue because he's, you know, he's, he's, he's done a lot of work that people won't have properly seen this season. I think you know the, the the leadership that he shows, the you know some of the dirty work in game, the, the tracking people's runs, the breaking up play, the you know digging a few people out to drive the standard. There's a lot of stuff now that obviously Cam's been associated over the years with his goals and assists, but you know he's obviously got a few of those this season. But I think the biggest bit that he's improved that since we've come in, I feel, is you know his leadership, is you know taking responsibility. So he's massive for the team, he's massive for the culture, and like I said, I'm. I love working with him. People have been raving about Marcus McGrain's form, but it's actually, that's the partnership. They both complement each other so well now, don't they? Yeah, and to be fair, when we came in, they they, they played together for, for every minute of every game when we came in, I think. So, um, you know, they obviously had a little bit of a head start in what we were looking for in and out of possession at the back end of last season. And they've, they've carried it on and, you know, what they've got behind them is a, another extremely... You know, talented bunch of midfielders as well that are pushing him. Obviously, Josh McEachern's not had the minutes that he wanted, but you know, complements what we've got. And you know, I'm sure when you know the opportunity is there, Josh will grab it. Um, so yeah, I think that's again it just comes back to that depth, that competition, the quality we've got. Bristol Rovers, what, what can we expect from them? Really, really difficult game. Um, I think you know when you look at it, uh, you know they're, they're they're a real tough side. To be fair, I think they've they've really progressed. I think in terms of especially their in possession when you look at how they build up. How they try and control the game, so um, you know from from that side of it, it's going to be extremely you know difficult. We've got to make sure our organisation without the balls, you know, on the money, and then um, you know them out of possession as well. They'll they'll be well organised, well set up, well coached. So it's it's a game that again we have we have to make sure that we control what we can, which is our game plan, how we work, how we are you know with our actions, and then ultimately you know. Go and, and try and dominate the game. They will always fill out the away, well, we've got an away end, an away area uh, on our ground. They will always fill it, they will always be uh, noisy. Our fans can match that and, and get right behind you. That'd be even louder, that's the challenge for me. I think, you know, if, if you look at it, well, whatever they bring and whatever we have, let's, let's you know, we've shown even, you know, Stevenage, we did it there. So, um, you know, that's the challenge now at home, create, create that same atmosphere, that same noise, and, you know, do a great job and get behind the lads.